Hey guys, today we're gonna look at your iCloud storage. Uh, many of you may have it full already, and that's quite normal, uh, especially if you take videos and photos, a lot of photos. Your iCloud probably is full by now. So you do have 5 gigs on it, so we're gonna get to it right away. I'm gonna show you how to free up your space, and uh, you're gonna see that it's quite easy. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go into settings on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Okay, this goes this this video is pretty much for everyone. Um, it's the same thing, same steps. Uh, whether you have an iPad, whichever iPad you have, mini, uh, Retina display, or just uh, an iPod Touch, iPhone, iPhone 5s, 5c, whichever you have, it's the same thing. So we're gonna scroll down into iCloud. Once you're in iCloud, okay, this is where you can manage your storage. Now, if you go into right down here, it says Storage Backup. I'm just gonna click on that. Okay, here it's gonna show you how much you have available. Right now I have a lot available since I deleted a lot of stuff and turned off a lot of stuff as well. Um, now your iCloud backup should be turned on, especially because of uh, your contacts and stuff like that. You want it turned on. Now, what you want to do is not buy more storage. Um, actually, if you got the cash, if you want to, go ahead and buy it. If you don't want to buy it, you want to free up some space and uh, you just want to manage your storage a lot better. We're gonna go into manage storage, which, which is right here. Okay, so here we're gonna have all your stuff that's on your iCloud. Okay, same as long as you have the same iCloud ID, okay, Apple ID, it's gonna go on the same one. So here's my iPad and my iPhone. Okay, um, right here you can see which apps are taking up most of your space. Um, you might see a lot, you might see a little bit doesn't matter we're gonna click on your first one which is iPhone so that's the one that takes up most of my space my iPad don't really have it turned on per se so that's why my iPhone is the one that takes up most, most of the space I had it full just yesterday and I freed it up so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that right now so right now if you go into iPhone or iPad whichever option you have you might have just one option at the moment um, we're just gonna scroll down we're gonna put show all apps okay now, if I turn these on and off, okay, the, the green ones means they're turned on, so it's backing up those apps, okay. Now, what, what does this mean? Um, let's say you lose your iPhone and you have an app that's turned off, such as MP3 Music, this one right here. It's turned off, right? Now, if I get another iPhone and I put my iCloud there, my Apple ID, I'm still gonna get this app again. It's still gonna... Um, Go on my new iPhone. However, the maybe if I had music saved up in there, it will not be in there anymore since uh, there's no backup on iCloud. That is now, if you really want to back up all your stuff and you want to back up all the content, on all your games, let's say you left off on a certain spot or you made you know you save some music on that app or just the uh, stuff that you've been doing on some of your apps, I, I really, really, really want you guys to just synchronize it with your computer, open up iTunes, whether you have Windows or Mac, iTunes is free, so that's this app right here, and uh, just open it up and back it up to, to your computer, okay, there, that way you'll never run out of space, you can back up all your stuff to your computer, okay, now I have it backed up to my computer and also on my iCloud, now that lets me free up a lot of space, first thing that you guys want to do is actually turn off your camera roll, once you turn off your camera roll, it will not delete your photos. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna turn it off. And it freed up half the space, okay? Now, what happens, once again, if you lose your iPhone or something like that? Now, your photos are still being synced up. You still have um, a thousand photos that you can back up. They're still on the cloud, okay? It's just your camera roll is not backed up on iCloud, okay? This kind of makes sense and doesn't make sense, I know. But um, if you go on your Windows or your Mac computer, whichever you have, uh, for Mac, if you go on iPhoto, I'm still gonna see my iCloud in there, okay? So I'm gonna go into it just, just to show you guys what I mean, okay? Now, if I go into iPhoto, although I turned off my iPhone right now, okay? My camera roll is turned off. My backup's no longer there. Okay, you still have shared iCloud here, and you still have PhotoStream. 
okay I'm not turning off my photo stream I want my I want my photo stream to be turned on your photo stream backs up to a thousand pictures and then you have to reset it or it resets manually I reset it myself I don't like the computer to do that for me and decide that for me I do all that myself okay so here's my photo stream that's another backup you have so that backs up to, up to a thousand photos and then you can just reset it okay so what I do I have a separate video to show you how to do that just back up your photo stream and then just reset it um, so your photo stream always have that on so you won't lose your pics but you don't need your camera roll to be on because I'm not turning that, that off okay photo stream I still have it on I'm just turning off camera roll camera roll is just another backup of all your photos that doesn't just contain a thousand you can contain two thousand three thousand and then that's why your storage is probably full especially if you have um videos videos take up a huge space huge space on your iphone okay so that's why your camera rolls probably full because you have some videos in there um your photo stream does not back up your videos so in that case yeah hook it up to your computer transfer your videos over if you want to keep them and then turn off camera roll okay um, that's just in case you know you lose your iPhone or something happens to your iPhone you need that backup and do that okay or just continuously back up your phone to your computer and you'll be fine okay um, so that's for camera roll if you turn that off you're gonna see that your, your problems pro your problems fixed already probably for most of you if it's not you still you still need more space just look at all your apps you have and turn off the ones that you don't care about that much okay so let's say my email this this icon right here for OWA that's email I don't need it to be backed up on iCloud my email is my email I mean I can still go to my computer and check it out I don't need a backup of my email that makes no sense to me to have it turned on same thing goes for Facebook I don't need it to turn be turned on I mean I still will have my information on Facebook no matter what even if I have it turned off same thing goes for a lot of these apps now other ones such as camera this other camera one I have that turned on it can be turned off um, so as you can see a lot of them I have turned on others I have turned off uh, other ones I was just lazy and then I turned them off but I would um, so if you can just tap on each one and turn it off you're done just go through them and turn off the ones that you don't want to back up, uh, the ones that you don't need back up, maybe even games that take up huge space on your iPhone itself. Um, maybe you don't want those to be backed up. Who cares if you left off on the level and maybe it's just a backup, okay? So if you don't care about those, just turn them off. Um, some I do like to turn on, some I like to turn off. So it depends what information you want to be backed up on your iCloud, okay? So once you have those selected and turned off the ones that you don't care about that much, okay? Um, now there's ones that I do care about, but I still don't need them to be backed up on my iCloud. There's no data that I need uh, to be backed up on my iCloud, so that's why I turn them off. Something like pages and stuff like that, I do have it turned on. However, I, I can still turn that off and still it's still going to be synchronized anyways um, over iCloud okay so you can have a lot of stuff turned off and still gonna still gonna be back up backed up okay um, so we're gonna back up from this now if you have two things like an iPad as well go into it and check out what's what's in here um, my iPad pretty much there's nothing on it um, I haven't really backed it up I don't like to use up my iCloud space for my iPad um, just because I regularly synchronize it with my computer using iTunes once again and that's it that's the way I do it um, you know something that I might lose there's more potential of losing is your iPhone you know damaging it in any way so that's why I have that backed up with my iCloud so that's how basically you turn on I uh, remember I'm not turning off photos right here's photos although I turned off my um, iCloud photo camera roll backup I'm still I still have this on my photo stream okay so I still have that on I still have that backup so it's all good okay now if you're going overseas or something like that and if, you know you want to pay roaming or something like that then yeah have that turned on for that while I would reset my phone every time I go on a trip I erase all my photos my previous photos and reset it to zero so I can take as much video and photos as I want and I don't have to be um, deleting any additional photos okay so that's basically it for this back 
for this um, tutorial if you guys have any questions comments or your storage still full for some reason you can type it up right here in the comments area and I'll help you out don't forget to subscribe and rate and any questions once again down here below okay thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you